Hi guys, it is time for our sentence surgeon of the week. This comes from a book called How I Learned Geography. I specifically picked it because the third graders right now are learning about maps and I thought it would be a really good um, support for that. Uh, let's read the sentence. It says, I climbed snowy mountains where icy winds licked my face. And we can see that it ends in a period. And if we remember our different types of sentences, some of the different options for if it ends in a period would either be a declarative sentence where it just states something basic, or it would be an imperative, which is a command. And this sentence isn't telling somebody that they have to do something. So this is a declarative sentence. Now, as far as the sentence structure that, if you remember, is going to be simple, compound, or complex, this sentence is not just a simple sentence uh, because later, as we're going to find out together, there's more than one subject and predicate. So that actually means it's either going to be complex or compound. And so we'll kind of wait to see what that looks like, but we know it's not going to be simple. It's either going to be complex or compound. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. Hopefully I don't forget. Uh, so let's look through our sentence. I'm going to start with my nouns and point out the things that to me sound really obvious that these are people, places, or things. So if I look at my sentence, sorry, I'm going to tilt the computer towards me a little bit. If I look at my sentence, I see it says, I climbed snowy mountains. I know mountains are a thing. It also ends in an S, so that means more than one mountain. So this is going to be not only a noun, but it's a noun that has more than one of it. So that's called a plural noun. So mountains is a plural noun. Let's see the rest of the sentence is where icy winds licked my face. Okay, I know face is a thing, so that's a noun. It's only one face, not more than one. And I know that winds, even though we can't see them, they're also a thing and it also ends in an S. So that is a plural noun as well. All right, so our other two easy parts of speech are verbs, which are the action, and adjectives, which are describing words. So let's look for action. So I climbed, oop, climbed. That's pretty obvious, right, guys? So it has an ED at the end. So that means it happened before. It's not happening right now. It's not happening in the future. It did happen. So that's going to be called past tense. And then that action part is a verb. I climbed snowy mountains where icy winds licked my face. Lick is an action. It also ends in ED, so we can tell that it happened in the past, didn't happen now, or in the future, it did happen. So that's also going to be a past tense verb. All right, and now we can look for describing words. I climbed snowy mountains. Oop, the mountains are being described as snowy. So snowy is an adjective. And nouns, um, the adjectives always describe nouns. So let's look at the other nouns. So winds, icy. The winds are icy. Okay, that's another adjective. Icy winds licked my face. All right, pretty good. So we only have one, two, three words left. So we have I, where, and my. I is a replacement of saying the name of the character. We don't know what the character's name is in this sentence because it's being replaced by I. So this is a pronoun. And the same thing for my. We still don't know the character's name. We're just knowing them as like it's my face instead of, okay, Miss Phillips climbed snowy mountains where icy winds licked Mrs. Phillips' face. My replaces the name of that. So that's also a pronoun. All right, and the word where. The word where is like, is considered an adverb. Adverbs are a little more complicated. And I'm going to give you guys some notes on adverbs today. But adverbs are describing anything that's not a noun. And in this case, it's describing 
like a location sort of. So where is the <laughs> location sort of? It's a little complicated with adverbs, so you'll get those notes that'll help clear up what adverbs are. All right, so there's also something else that some of you probably noticed is that we've got some great figurative language in here. So we've got the icy winds licked my face. So I'm gonna zigzag this because this is some figurative language. Licked my face. Okay, do winds really lick? No, they don't. That's what a person does. So we're gonna call this personification. Personification, all right. And now let's look for the subject and predicate. So subject is going to be what's doing the action, and predicate's usually an action, so like a verb. So let's look at our verbs. We have climbed and licked. Okay, those are both verbs, so let's look. It says, I climbed, and what licks? Not I, the winds. So we have I is one of our subjects. Climbed is the predicate. And then another one is the winds and they licked. Okay, like I said before, because there's more than one subject and more than one predicate, so let's, we can circle, well, I'll just leave it be. So I climbed, winds licked. Because there's more than one, we have to decide if it's compound or complex. So those of you that were in IMA last year, and maybe some of you who are just, uh, <laughs> grammar nerds might know this, but a compound sentence is a sentence that has two complete ideas that are joined by a conjunction. There are not any conjunctions in this sentence. In fact, I climbed snowy mountains is one idea, and icy winds licked my face. That's sort of an idea by itself too, but this adverb, that's not a conjunction. That's, that's not really going to work as compound sentence. So this one's just going to be considered complex. All right, guys. So we did this whole sentence. It was a little more complicated than the others, but we got it. Have a good day.